DetectNet is indicated for use with positron emission tomography, PET, for localization of somatostatin receptor positive neuroendocrine tumors, NETs, in adult patients. Diagnostic radiopharmaceuticals, including DetectNet, contribute to a patient's overall long-term cumulative radiation exposure. Long-term cumulative radiation exposure is associated with an increased risk of cancer. In the universe of high-accuracy imaging, what role does positron range play? Let's take a look. DetectNet uses the radioisotope Copper 64, which has a half-life of 12.7 hours. This long half-life offers several logistical benefits and ultimately can mean being able to more easily schedule patients. But one of the main features of Copper 64 is its short positron range. With a short positron range, the annihilation point occurs close to the atomic nucleus. Signals are emitted closer to the emission source, which can lead to high spatial resolution. Spatial resolution determines how detailed an object is represented and allows adjacent objects to be differentiated in an image. To help you see it, let's talk about telescopes. Recently, there have been improvements in how telescopes show objects in space. In the past, the images we got from space showed broad outlines of large shapes. But with newer telescopes, we can now see that these larger images are sometimes actually several smaller objects clustered together. And since we're able to see more detail, we are also able to see objects we hadn't known were there before. The same can be said about positron ranges in PET imaging. Longer positron ranges show us objects broadly. With shorter ranges, we can see that sometimes there are actually several smaller objects in close proximity. And we sometimes even see objects that may not have been visible with other imaging agents. The images may look a little less smooth, but that's because you're seeing less diffusion and more detail. Now, here's how it may affect the accuracy of PET imagery. Here, you can see that what looks like one lesion at a longer range is really three smaller lesions in close proximity when seen with a shorter positron range. You can also see an additional lesion that may not have been detected using another imaging agent. Seeing as much as possible through molecular imaging can be valuable in informing and managing a patient's disease. And those are just a few of the galaxy of reasons why Copper 64 is taking off in PET imaging. As a pharmaceutical drug, it is important to be aware of the risks associated with the TechNet. The warnings and precautions include radiation risk, risk of hypersensitivity reactions, and risk of image misinterpretation. Details of these risks and other important risk information are provided on the screen and in the full prescribing information which can be found at detectnet.com.